Hi there and welcome at a new episode on TypeScript design patterns. Right now we're going to focus on the singleton pattern. The singleton pattern, when we look at the definition, is a very easy to understand pattern. It ensures that a class has only one instance and that it provides a global point of access to it. So uh, when we look at the UML diagram, we see we have a class singleton which has a instance, which is just a static property that returns the singleton object so um, although it is a very widely used pattern there's also something to say against using this pattern there's a lot of discussion on the internet uh, on that the singleton pattern is actually a anti-pattern as it introduces global application scope um, I do not want to focus on that discussion right now. Um, you see it, it is very widely used. Let's say, let's look for example, if you look at SharePoint, you have the uh, spcontext.current. You have uh, on ASP.net, you have HTTP context.current uh, uh, and a lot more. So it's a very widely used pattern. I'm just going to give you an example right here. Let's head to the code. So here we have the singleton uh, class. We have a singleton which has a counter and it is a uh, static instance of singleton which in the first place will be null. Then inside the constructor I verify if the instance is not yet created and if so uh, we indeed set the instance to this object. If it is created we throw an error and say sorry but you should use the singleton.current instead of creating a new a singleton. The reason I created it this way in TypeScript is because TypeScript does not support static constructors. In C Sharp you would use a static constructor for the same uh, uh, reason. Yeah. So uh, if we look at the static get current method, it verifies that instance equals null and then creates a new instance if it is null and then it will return the singleton instance and uh, as we've noticed that this instance has a counter object which starts with null so when we go to the load method over here the load method um, we create a variable singleton one and we reference it to the singleton uh, pointed to the singleton dot current and then we say display which will show us a value of null then we have a second variable singleton number two and we also set it to singleton dot current which should point at the same instance of the singleton object when i uh, add uh, uh, one to the counter and I display singleton number one I expect it to display the, uh, the value of one we then going to try to create a new singleton by calling the constructor of course this will fail because we told the, in the constructor that if there's already an instance, we cannot create a new one. So you should use singleton.current. When we then update the counter again of instance of variable number two, and we then display singleton number one again, I expect to see that we have a value of two for the counter. So let's look at the results. Head over to the code, scroll down again, and have a look. So we create a singleton number one. We display it and it indeed has a value of null. Then I have a second variable, singleton number two, and I point it to singleton.current. Then I update the counter with one. I add one to the counter property of singleton number two, and then I display singleton number one again. And indeed, singleton number one, the count the counter has a value of one. Then we try to create a new singleton, and of course we get an error, instantiation failed, use singleton.current instead of new. Okay, this all works, then we update the counter, we add one again, and then we display singleton one again, and then indeed singleton number one, the counter of that has a value of two, and that makes sense of course because both variables, both variables singleton one and singleton two point to the same object. That is how you use the singleton pattern.